good day everybody and welcome to my channel and you know again you know uh welcome everybody to this and please if you are watching this video to like the video please get to subscribe to the channel i need your support. Uh, and you know, let you ask that should be different video never upload a new thank you very much again and i'm speak of ti how to get to say no to cyber psychological torture it's cruel it's evil it's crime against humanity and all those people perpetrated this crime should be taken to book and you know it should be uh, condemned with the uh, contempt it, de it deserves and thank you very much for following my channel and uh, for watching this channel and I'm still on the topic of uh, uh, this targeted individual life as a targeted individual and in Namibia um, you'll find that uh, I've, I've gone through all the stages of uh, TI or gang stalking uh, like for instance, you know, uh, the broadcast, you know, to the people, they communicate with the people, uh, they instruct the people to, you know, to, to, to make a gesture or to say something, to do something, you know, that uh, will of course affect you psychologically. You know, I've, I've gone through and also, you know, go through what we call the 2K, you know, all, all the stages of gangsters also conducted a, a, a electronic movement on my like uh, on window, you know, to sexually harass every day. They were also in a way that they induce images of nudity you know in your mind you know 24 7 you know the, the whole day you know the, the the other thing is that you know they apply voice to scar which is 24 7 they don't stop you know they tell you all those things that you don't want to hear insult you or I, in my case, uh, I think of all TIs, you know, how well they uh, Mine, I think, more especially here in Africa, you find that, you know, they, they manipulate people. I don't know whether it's manipulation or maybe people are just ignorant because the way they make it, you know, it feels as if she, these people, they think that maybe this is legal. These people are allowed you not know, to do this, you know, to my body or to exploit this, which is not the case. But I think that he, the people here in Namibia, I think that he, this is the right thing to do to somebody because the way they do it, you know, they they do it nationally. You know, they they they, they do it. They they think that he is the right thing to do, you know, for somebody. So, which means that they do it publicly, really, really, even, um, I think I have more evidence, you know, even, you know, to take to the to court and win my case. Uh, they are very careless in the way they do. Uh, we, most of the things that they do is that they have decided, you know, to connive with the neighbors wherever I go. Then I think they provide them with a link. That link where they go, where they can evade my privacy, and they start watching everything. Uh, so in some other cases, you find that uh, some neighbors are very reckless and very careless, and you know they can just give out this evidence. So as for me, what I need is just the support, you know, from the especially from uh, other TIs all over the world you know, so that uh, 
I can uh, have money, you know, to look for lawyers so that I can take these people to court. And the, the other thing is that I wanted, you know, to make my case an example, you know, to, to the rest of the TIs, you know, so that he, they can he also make it a, a, as an example that he, this thing, you know, exists and this thing is happening even here in the outskirts of Africa, you know, in the country of Namibia and the stuff. So this thing is happening, this crime against human, humanity, you know, it's going on, whereby uh, my perpetrator, which is in this case the government, uh, they accused me of something that happened 23 years ago. The year was 2001, uh, when I was working at sea. So in fact, the sea is not like a normal environment like you have a work on shore whereby maybe you go to the to the office or in the bank and you, you come back you see your wife you see your families you see your friends uh, you live a normal life but at sea is different when you go at sea you are cut out from everything you know until sometimes you can spend even one to two months at sea until you come back on shore that's when you Will be again exposed you know to a normal life style and that's when you can see your wife your children your family you know your your friends and stuff like that so which means that uh by working at sea i think that i was you know psychologically affected and when i was psychologically affected um uh, then i did something i think in the public, you know, that uh, attracted a lot of negative attention. And instead, you know, of doing the right thing, of maybe checking me in a rehab, since I was not maybe well in my mind, the government decided, you know, to, to, to instead to gang stalk me, you know, to condemn me with this remote neural monitor, you know, to broadcast, to manipulate people, you know, to misinform people with the wrong information, not the right information. You know, since 2001, you know, to now. So which means that these people, they have been so careless in giving out evidence. Which means that I can use my case as an example to all the TIs all over the world. You know, which I need, I, I just need the support, you know, to go and seek lawyers. So that you know, I, I I can you know expose this crime to the rest of the world that it's happening, it's right here, you know it's been used by wrong evil people, and this will be stopped. I I think I will stop there. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.